Hello! Again, underprepared, not logged in or anything. Because I'm good at what I do. Hello, bonus Friday stream time. Because, if I'm perfectly honest, I can't resist not playing this game. Oh no, I can't resist playing this game. I English good. I'm just, game is just so tantalizing, I, I literally think about it. Whenever I have a spare second and I'm not doing anything, nine times out of ten I'm thinking about this game right now because I'm thinking, oh, but what about this? And I haven't been here yet. What about this? How do I get there? How, how do I do this? How do I do that? How do I do this? What about this? What about that? It, it's tiring, <laughs> but it's that's why I, I've actually said multiple times in the last few days. I think this is definitely one of the best games I've played in a long time. Is that the Quantum Moon already? Son of a biscuit. Well, today, that's our bloody goal. I know where to go in order to learn how to land on it. Yep. Alright. There's no real rush. But, uh, eh. make the most of the time we have here, I guess. Alrighty. We're going here. I think we're heading to the North Pole, I want to say. There's somewhere on Giant's Deep that, um... That, sorry, uh, that um, should teach us all about like quantum uh, flux or uh, things in quantum flux and called the Tower of Quantum. It's the Quantum Trials, I want to say. Let's head to the North Pole. I think it's around here ish. So let's. Uh, Let's just pop on down. I think it's around here. Nope, I missed. Oh, I'm exactly where I don't want to be. So let's get out of here. Maybe it's the south pole then. I think that it's definitely one of the poles. Oh, Christ, there one goes. There's the... There it is. That is a massive, massive storm. Oh, we've got to basically go up and over the edge. So let's let's do that. Did I do it? Yes! Woof! That was close. Okay. Here we are. Right. Let's learn about quantum stuff. Uh, yep, health and fuel all good. Let's do this. Oh, I forgot this gravity is... Blech. It's going to be hard to do this with this amount of gravitas. Gravitas. But anyway... Let's continue on. So I'm, but I'm also quite certain. I'm, well, I said, no, I'm not certain. I'm, I think, based on what I know about the game, that we might be approaching the end. Which would be sad. Because this game has been fantastic. Be welcome to this, in this place. The tower shares all. With all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. And that's us. Enjoy the view. Oh, I say enjoy the view. It's just a big cloud. This is a long elevator. Mm. Oh, here we go. Oh, was not paying attention. Alrighty. Enter this place without friends. However, these are lessons to learn for yourself. Mm. Alright. Uh... 
I don't think so. Big hole. I think that's, yep, I think that's where we're going. Whee! Oh. Well, that was nice of it to cushion me landing. Seek the Wandering Arch. You mean this one? <gasps> it wanders. There it is. So what do I do with it once I find it? Oh. Okay, I know. Ah! Okay. We'll keep an eye on it. As we walk around. you got to keep looking at things if they're on quantum flux. There you go. That was easy. Oh, it does cushion your fall. How lovely. Unidentified signal. Ah! What your papa? That legitimately scared the poop out of me. Huh? Ah, that's cool. Alright, so I guess we've learned what we need to learn from here? I think. What is the quantum shard? What are they? That's what I actually want. Yeah. It does that on purpose. Alrighty. There you are. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Top notch. So that archway, yeah. So, hang on, hang on. Equip launcher, photo mode. Take a snapshot, and it's still there. And it's still there. Cool. Good to know. Oh. You're a quantum object, aren't you? You bloody are. I've lost the picture now, haven't I? Yes, I have. You son of a biscuit. There you go. <coughs> Sorry, I think I might just bang the microphone. My apologies. Here we go. So, if I just take a snap of you, you cannot move. Wow. Then why didn't that work when I landed on the goddamn quantum moon? What if I take something really close up? So, its location isn't really identified. And it stays there. It absolutely stays there. Then why didn't it work with the quantum moon? I really don't understand. Thank you. Is that in quantum flux as well? Oh, it bloody is! Alright. The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. Okay. Oh, 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 oh no. Okay. So I just took... Ah! That's not what I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> Trap me. Okay, so I take a picture of just... No, of just the crystal. Then no matter where I look. Yeah. <gasps> yes! Oh, boom. This is great. Whee! Now that was some sweet bit of uh, floating, if I do say so myself. Yep, there it goes. Where are they Ah, Jesus. <laughs> I'm trying to look around. Leave me alone. Okay. That's fine. All these pedestals also seem to be in quantum flux. Okay. This is the last one, but we made it harder. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. Okay. <gasps> ah, damn it. Okay. <laughs> Where's the bottom? Go on. Where, go on. Come down here. Calm down here, will ya? Oh, there it is. Oh, <gasps> perfect. Right.
okay, I think I have an idea. Right, so you've got a picture of me. <gasps> no! Oh, bugger! Okay. Okay, I've got another idea. I've got another idea. Okay, hang on. Okay. Oh, okay. They're both in my sight. Perfect. Right. Keep you in my sight. I think this is how. Oh, yes, there you go. <laughs> I am so clever. Okay. Are you quantum? Yeah, you are. Oh, hello. Hey! Oh, I, can I have that back? Oh, did not mean to do that. Well, actually, there's another thing we need to do, I just remembered. But uh, we'll do that in the next cycle. This is far more interesting. Alright, there you go. Uh, we offer our congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this, take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in, our in the footsteps of those who came before you. And your path guides those who will follow later. Cool. Oh, hi. Oh my god, everything's in quantum flux in here. Oh my god! That's so cool! Except the hole. The hole is constant. <laughs> oh god, why did I jump? Oh, it's water. That's fine. <gasps> Ooh, pretty. Alright. So, now I'm guessing we can, um... Let's try our luck again. On this bloody quantum moon. Oh god. Here we go. Gotta find the bastard first. Um, ship log. Ash twin alignment. Oh, hello. <gasps> You've got a lot. So what's all this? Black hole forge. Ash twin alignment map. Very nice. Okay. Uh, there's more to explore in the black hole forge. What did I miss? How dare you? There's more to explore in the old settlement. Uh, there's definitely more in the Hanging City, that I know. Yeah, okay. So let us go find the Quantum Moon. See you later, Quantum Tower. Alright. Is it here? <laughs> oh. Someone is calling me. Oh, there it is. Hold on, guys.
Sorry guys, he's taking a long time getting to his point. He's a bit of a talker.
Um, that man can talk for fucking England. It's Christ. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all good. He spent 10 minutes bitching about Trump. And I can't tell him to <laughs> shut the fuck up because he gives me money. God damn. Ah. He wants to hire you, by the way. Ah. We'll, we'll talk about it. Right. Sorry about that, guys. I've been streaming for 56 minutes and I spent about 40 minutes of that on the goddamn phone. Oh my god. Right. All good. Mm -hmm. Calm down. Let's continue with the game. By the way, hello to Uncle to Ben. Uncle to Ben? I'm just going to call you Ben. And Drake, thank you for sticking with me. Good lord. I wouldn't mind, mind me paying. That's the thing. I, wouldn't, I couldn't even charge for that phone call. Oh my god. I wish I bloody could. Yeah, there was some project talk. Well, didn't la that's didn't that's last crazy. long. Oh my god. I I'm trying. <laughs> Die a few times in the space. That will sue you. <laughs> oh no, I'm heading back to the planet. Okay. <sighs> my usual calm persona I try and do on this channel is going right out of the goddamn window. Right. I photographed the stupid quantum thing. Now if this disappears on me, I'm going to be mad. Because I've got a picture of it. Oh. Why are you moving away? Stop moving away from me! Hi, Mrs. Panda says Uncle to Ben. So he, oh no, she's gone. I didn't even realize she was gone. <gasps> is this it? Oh my god, I finally fucking did it! After trying and trying and trying, I've landed on this stupid quantum moon. Oh my god. Oh. No, thank you. I did not want to land. I'm looking for something in very specifically. Oh, why am I getting buffeted by stuff? There should be something on this moon. That's worth my goddamn while. I'm like, why did I bother? There it is. Well, there's something. Damn it! It's quant. Damn it! That's why it. Ah, la 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 la! I've just. I just got twatted because of stupid quantum bollocks. Right. What's going on here? Oh god, no, get out of the thing. Oh god, where did that come from? Can you... No! Okay. Come on! And it's bloody gone. I can't believe it. <sighs> you done yet? Right. Try to live. Starboard hull. Starboard is space for right. Aha! God damn. <sighs> okay. I don't know what this is gonna do. Oh, hello. Right. 
You have recalled the rule of quantum energy imaging. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. This isn't helpful. Okay, what? Oh, that's the quantum moon. Right. Um. Okay. What does this give me? I don't understand what's going on, honestly. Okay, there's nothing up there. I'm confused. What? What was the point of even coming here? Are you going to disappear now? No, you're not. Oh god, there's quantum fluctuations everywhere. I can control it from this distance? Are you kidding? I didn't know that. I thought it would be really close to it. Right. What does this mean? I don't really know what any of this means, if I'm honest. God damn it. And it's gone. Alright. Ah, oh, there it is again. There's a big old storm here, though. Oh, I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you. You stay where the hell you are. No! God fucking damn it! Wrong button! Can you not? Okay. Ah! Fuck that. Back to the quantum moon. Oh, and it's disapp- I hate everything. I actually hate everything. There's a goddamn something. There you are. How long am I into the cycle? How do I have any time for anything else now? My god, that was a waste of time. I don't know. Okay. Um, don't hate everything. Not everything, just most things. Mostly certain people I'm not allowed to talk about. Oh, stop it. Okay. I'm literally just going back to Timber Half so I can land and just look at the ship log, figure out what I need to do for next time. Because it's, it's generally, this place is just a safe place to land. I can even land back on the launch pad. Oh, get off. Come on. God damn it. Ship log, alright. You went to the quantum moon, quantum shrine, and there's a quantum sixth location. I don't know. Quantum moon, there's more to explore. I know, but I got kicked off before I could. Uh, town quantum knowledge and quantum signal on the hourglass twins. I suppose we can go try and find that. And I think next time we'll go to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge on the um, Brittle Hollow. Don't hate cheese. I do hate cheese because it makes me fart. I'm lactose intolerant. So I'm afraid to say, Drake, I do hate cheese. Alright, where are the twins?
Oh, the sand is finished. Which means, um... Stop it. The sun's gonna pop really soon. Yep, I've got minutes. I've got minutes. Probably less than a minute, actually. This land, God's sake. It's bloody underground, isn't it? God damn it. Man, I'm not that far away from I reckon I can jump into the sun. Well, this has been a disappointing um, first cycle. The first cycle, which took one hour and six minutes. What can you do? Apart from bitch and whine about it. You popping yet? Oh, I can't see. Yeah, you popped. All right, next time, let's try and do something a little bit more productive. You're getting angry, Panda, today, by the way. You're getting very angry, Panda. I don't like having my time wasted, and he rattled on for way too long. Good Lord. Right. Okay. We're heading back to the Hourglass Twins. Try and find this quantum thing. Pandanga. Exactly, Drake. Exactly, Pandanga. Wake up anytime soon? Uh, panda angry. Pandanga, panda angry. Yeah, either or is good enough for me. Ooh. There's always a little bit of jutteriness when I first start this game up. Or when I first wake up. Alrighty. Uh, we want to go Ember Twin. Yep. Nope. Yeah, Quantum Fluctuations. No, oh my god, I always hit the wrong goddamn button. Oh, that's a planet, that's a planet, that's a planet, that's a planet, that's a planet. Alright. Again, wrong freaking button. It's fine. On the fluctuations, where? 300 meters, so it's down. Okay, well, let's go to the gravity cannon. It's the quickest way inside this planet. Where's this stupid cannon? Seriously, where the hell is the gravity cannon on this thing? There it is. Again, wrong goddamn button. God, I hate this. <laughs> Always clicking the wrong goddamn button. Okay, right. Okay, where is... It's down below. Alright. 
Open sashimi. Sashimi open, please. Ouch, that kind of hurt. Okay, I don't know how to get there, but uh, I'm assuming it's along here somewhere. Even if not, there's a, apparently there's something in the high energy lab we missed. So, I'm happy to do this again. What the hell is it then? Still below me? How on, uh, how on earth is that possible? I'm at like the lowest point. Right. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. Oh, how is everyone doing? <laughs> Ignoring me. Oh. Maybe it's actually on the surface. Oh well. Either way, I need to go back to the high energy lab. Because apparently I missed something. Quantum moon, lovely. Island shard, where's that? Oh. No idea. You have noodles? I'm kind of jealous, I like noodles. I has noodles. There's actually a few things here I need to do. Oh god, no. That's called falling in a hole. For people who don't know what I'm doing, I'm waiting for this hole to fill with sand so I can cross this, uh, this path. Because if you try and jetpack through the sand, it just pushes you down. So, um, that's what I'm doing. What sort of noodles do you have, Drake? What sort of noodles do you have? I bang the microphone again, my apologies, but it's a bit twisted. What sort of noodles do you have? That's not filled enough. Oh, it's getting everywhere. I'm getting sand in my shoes. Oh, God. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, come on. As I said before that uh, in this game, there's either a lot of rushing or a lot of waiting. I can survive! Come on, let's do this. Alright, there's a path to my right. Here we go. Uh, path to my right? No. Follow. Around to the left. Along here. Here we go. Stir fry, Korean barbecue. Ooh, that sounds delicioso, mucho gudo. There goes matter down there. That's a probably a bad thing. All right. I used to have um back in my first full time job, you know when I actually worked for a living, um. There was a market every Friday, and there used to be this Korean uh, burrito place. Now there's a achievement I can get here. Oop. There's definitely an achievement I can get here. So observe, right? If I launch it, it comes out 
Oh, no, no, no. I need to power it first. Hang on. Here we go. You come here. Thank you. If I launch, it comes out before it goes in. So what you need to do... Hey, look! Now I've got two! Oh. Oh, no. What have I done? What have I done? Oh! Sugar plums. I kind of broke the game. I destroyed the fabric of space time. Oh, God! All that for an achievement. Which I haven't even got yet. Am I not going to get the achievement? Or did I do that for nothing? Ah, oh, do I have to do that again? I might do that again in my own time. <laughs> yeah. No. No. That doesn't look good. It did not look good. And it wasn't good. I broke space. Uh, load previous save, please. There's no way I'm expecting that as uh, the end of the game. Right. Quickly check the ship's log. And do you know what? Screw the quantum fluctuation. Um, I can't be bothered with it. What I do need to do is go to the Dark Bramble, which is something I've been dreading doing ever since I went in there the first time and I got eaten by big fish. True story. <clears throat> For you will see them, undoubtedly. Wake up. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> That's light. All right, moving on. All right, dark bramble time. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. I said I was going to look at the ship log. Nothing new. Nothing new. Right, dark bramble time. Oh, no, 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 no. Tower of quantum knowledge time. That's what we're going to do first. All right, brittle hollow. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Weep. Although what I could what I could try and do is also land on that thing. Cause about, I think you might be able to. It's worth having a look. What's the worst that could happen? I could break the fabric of space time. Can I land on that? I don't know. <gasps> there's something in there. Oh my god, there's something in that volcano. <gasps> there is! We're landing on it. Oh, I've landed. That's what I care about. Oh, dude. No, no, no. Get out my ship. Get out my ship. Get out my ship. Oh, dude. This is cool. Friends in the Timber Hearth Mine, the last type of ore you sent us survives the longest in direct heat. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability and our forge has already burned through everything you've sent. We'll deliver more ore to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the Ash Twin Project's protective shell. My gratitude. I'll, I imagine we uh, will also have an updated estimate soon of how much ore is needed for the seal to seal off the Ash Twin Project. Will it be more than we initially thought? Probably. It would be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Uh, yes, the idea of an encasement that supernova proof, however briefly, has kindled my curiosity. That's pretty cool. Let's 
So what are we what are we gonna see here then? Oh, what is this? Oh, this is the mine. This is the mine. Cool. <gasps> it's gonna hurt. I died. I died. I found a new way to die. Bored to death in lava. I wasn't even trying to do that. I was trying to drop the stone in the lava to, just, to just see if I could destroy it. Yeah. Uh, it was very effective. But you know, whatever. Luckily. So that's the new gasp. That's a new gasp if you boil to death. There you go. We learned something new. We also learned there's something on the hollow, um, the, what's it called? Hollow's lantern or something? Yeah, put them, put them in the suit, why not? Oh, here we go. Organic testing site. Nice. Oh, no, no, I want to see the map view. Yeah, so, we, yeah, sweet. So, yeah, there's a, I need to go to the Quentin Tower of Quantum Knowledge now. There you go. Plan. Oh, where's Brittle Hollow? It's normally like. Oh, there it is. No, thank you. Before we do, we need to find the landing site. Oh, we need, yeah, we need to find the way in to uh, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Can you not? Thank you. I think it's somewhere. Oh, it's actually around the equation. I'm going pole to pole to pole. There's the cannon. Oh, there's something there. There it is. But first of all, I want to see what's over there. Something over here. There, 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 there. What is this? <gasps> ghost matter. That's where I first encountered ghost matter. Ah, cool. Okay. Anyway. Uh, have I lost the landing site again? No, it's not. It's right there. Sweet. Okay. Oh. Bit of a hard landing, but I survived. It's all good. Right, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Here I come. I'm going to get so knowledgeable on quantum stuff. Wee. Although I should be, I shouldn't be that sort of reckless in my uh, boosting, because normally what happens when I am, I fall into the black hole. Nobody enjoys that. All right, how do I get in? I see. This is slightly problematic. What do you say? Why have you found the Tower of Quantum Knowledge? If you are making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. I mean, I've already been there. It sucked, but I've been there. Yeah. Oh, that went well. How do I get in then? Not like that. How do you get in? I didn't come over this way for nothing. Screw that noise. Uh, da, 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 da. That's not what I wanted. Uh. Here we go. Right. Uh, 
Oh. Okay. Um, we have to wait 10 minutes. Is, is the short answer to this. We have to... Cause, okay, with Brittle Hollow. Brittle Hollow. Not Brittle. West London. Brittle Hollow. Um, it's slowly falling into... The... Black hole. That is right there. And... For us to get in, gain entrance into the tower, we have to wait till this chunk of land falls into the black hole and spits it out in by the white hole. Whereupon we can float in and do our thing. So we're just going to do a cheeky maneuver just to land on the top of this, like so. And yeah, we're just gonna have to we have to wait it out. I'm not entirely sure what it's gonna be like when it does fall in. Uh, but there you go. Right. Um. Detecting the misses. Hang on. Something very important. Hopefully she'll be in momentarily. Uh, can I just... Uh, I guess I can just unbuckle and look around. I'm sure she'll be here any second. Ship log. There's still stuff on Giant's Deep, are you kidding me? Oh, there isn't, there isn't. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just waiting for this little piece of land to fall in the black hole. You can observe the quantum tower shifting around. Oh. I'm waiting for the tower to appear. Hang on, I'm not just doing this for fun. Ah. Hello. She fell asleep on me. Oh, I'm going to politely ask you to entertain the troops while I go to the room. That's fine. Fantastic. Guys, I just, I will literally be less than a minute. I need the loo, but to keep you entertained, here's Mrs. Panda and my puppy, Molly. Thank you. No worries. I'll be quick. <laughs> I don't really have a choice. Hi, everyone. Molly was sleeping on me. That's why it took me a little while to get her here. But she's a very sleepy puppy. <laughs> hey, boys. Oh, you're so sleepy. Hey. Hey, girl. Hmm. So, whilst Panda isn't here, I can do some stuff to his laptop. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, any type of suggestions are very much welcome. Obviously, changing his wallpaper. But I can do something to the game as well. <laughs> we can fly to the black hole. Unless he's actually in the middle of something important. Then I really don't want to screw it up. Hey, little girl. Oh, you are not comfortable. You are not comfortable. That's right. I think it's the light. The light is too bright for her. Oh, you're hearing a lot of weird sounds. Ah. Panda is coming back. I'm going to get off his seat. <laughs> I know, yeah. Intruder. Intruder alert. <laughs> you can't see that, but her tail is getting mental. Drake, <laughs> 
Holy moly. Uh, <laughs> go, 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 go. Right. Thank you very much for entertaining the troops. More than welcome to say. Yeah, why not? Uh, clear this char. Yes, please. Can you move it as well? Of course. Thank you. Oh, actually, <sighs> I'm going to give her to you. I dropped something whilst I was All right. walking here. I just don't want the time the pub. To oh, oh, Molly, oh, you're trying to eat my nose. Arr. Whoa, that was a big yawn. Hey, everyone, I'm back. Thank you very much for sticking around. Oh, hello, Molly. Her tail is wagging like crazy. I love it. Uh, oh, hello. The what did he do? Immediately stole my seat. <laughs> I see, I see. Oh, this is very low. Why oh, my chair is so low? Ooh, Where's the handle? On the right, should be on the right hand side. Yep. Ah, that's so there much better. Go. Here you go, Molly Moore. So, whenever I go to work or just exit the, the room, the panda pad. Uh, the panda pad. The panda, <laughs> the panda pad, pad, that's me. Yeah, <laughs> the panda pub steals my seat immediately. Yeah, she and does. The best he seat does. In the room. He loves your chair. Yeah. Well, my chair sits on the sofa. I usually have loads of cushions around me. Um, and it's a little bit in the corner, so you kind of can lean on three sides. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, I love it. Very, it's a very good seat on the sofa. You can see everything. You're really close to the kitchen. You're further away from the window. So it's not too bright. It's not too cold. And you have a really good view of TV. And you're very close to plugs plug sockets so I can easily charge my that's actually very laptop. true yeah I know I love that seat so. <laughs> I'm planning on uh, adapting our sofa actually because yeah. all the plugs are behind the sofa what I want to do is um, sorry I'm actually quite far away on the closer oh, I could start it's been supernova right there very slowly well I don't think supernova well we are far away I landed on that. Did you you can act, you can land on one of the volcanoes. I told you. I know. Hmm. I need to learn to listen to my wife because she's far more smarter <laughs> than me. I'm gonna say so. Well, especially yeah, especially because I just said far more smarter. <laughs> I English good. That's okay. I I've noticed that native speakers usually make much more mistakes. So now I've taken a picture, I can go wee and it will still be there. Quantumy, timey, wimey stuff. We're currently waiting just to fill you in to explain why I'm not actually doing anything. Okay. Um There's there's a tower underneath me and there's a gravity plating sort of walkway that goes up the side so you can get in, but mm -hmm. half of it's broken. So you um, can't get in. So what you I need to do is wait for this chunk of land to fall into the black hole. That's okay. underneath it. It will get, then get ejected into the from the white hole. Can you speed it up? No. Can got, you throw something instead? No. I just got wait about. It's about ten minutes or so. Grammar. Oh, okay. Grammar. I know. I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Drake. Well done. <laughs> oh, here comes here comes a rock. I actually notice that a lot in work emails. So when I'm communicating with someone, either clients or coworkers. The native speakers make so many mistakes. It's because they're lazy, I think. Yeah. I, I think it's just because we have to pay attention to how we speak, how how we write, just so people will take us seriously and make less mistakes. I still make mistakes, um, but I'm not really prone to that. You can learn surface integrity by launching the scout. So what I'm going to do... <gasps> 10 percent! Brilliant! <laughs> Let's get in. We shouldn't be that far off then. Will it update? I don't think it will. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, so it's going to get ejected from the white hole and then it'll be in space so we can just float on in mm -hmm. and do our thing. But as I keep saying with this game, it's either rushing somewhere to get to somewhere before something happens, or waiting. 
for something to happen. That's fair enough. Yeah. Also waiting, I have a good suggestion. Go on then. So at the moment, obviously we can't do that at all. We have quite a bit of surface area here. Yeah. Yeah, and Molly really enjoys just curling up and sleeping. Mm, yeah. Themselves. So I just thought that maybe making a small bed good idea oh. and building uh, some stairs so she could or a ramp. It's not a bad idea uh, I'm gonna shoot another ramps. probe she loves going up and down the stairs even though she 5% can't. we're getting there yeah that actually didn't take that long no I haven't I, I looked it up it's about 10-12 minutes into the cycle um in front of you there's a marking. Did you read it? I have. That was one. Well, because yeah. this was one, this was one of the first places I came, so I have ah, read it. I see. Fair enough. Many cycles ago. Yeah. That's oh, fair I did. You hear me die again because I broke space time. I'm sorry. I fell asleep. Fair enough. <laughs> I broke space time again. Oh, I'm so sorry. It it was. Well, I did it on purpose. I didn't. I, but I didn't know that it would happen. So you purposely broke something that would make you die, but you didn't think that. Yeah. Yeah. Make you die. Wait for yeah. it. So there, there was a there's a high energy lab where it makes a black hole and a white hole, and you shoot your probe through the black hole, and it comes out of the white hole. Yeah. But if you add a certain amount of power, when you shoot it into the black hole, it will emerge from the white hole before it goes into the black hole. Right. I see. So what I did, I shot it towards the black hole, waited for it to come out of the white hole, and then disabled the black hole. So there was a duplicate. I see. And that broke space time. Oh. <laughs> I broke the fabric of space time. Come on, it was a 5%. What is taking so long? If I get out though and check again, what's the possibility of it happening as I get out? Oh, please don't get out. It would be funny though. Yeah, but then you all need to wait 10 minutes again. No, I'll just fall into the white hole and black hole myself. But do you need to do that? I don't need to. Still a 5%, really? Oh, fair enough. Run, save yourself. Attempt to at least. I'm going to put her down. Because I'm sure she's going to sleep anywhere right now. Fair enough. She's really tired. I have no idea why she's so tired though. She's been sleeping most of the morning. What we do, oh, there's Quantum Moon. Uh, did you manage to land on it? I did land on it. Good. It was nothing special. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't learn anything that I didn't already know. I think the the most important or interesting part of it was just trying to land on it. That's and very true. Was it just through taking a photo of it? Yeah. I took a photo and I slowly went towards it just until land appeared. Uh, I got twatted though. Because everything on the planet is in quantum flux. So I was yeah. flying around and then suddenly a mountain was just like, Hi! <laughs> and, uh, yeah. That's pretty cool, actually. It is pretty cool. It made me, but it was just after my phone call, so I was already a bit annoyed. Ah, uh, that's right. That, so I was just like, Blah! <laughs> I was panned angry. Oh, there you are. <laughs> she behind me? She's behind you. No. Yeah. She always prefers to go there. She's just standing and watching. Hi, baby girl. As long as you don't poop on the floor, I'm happy with it. No, nope, she already went outside. Ah, excellent. So it's all good. But we, you never Is know. this going to happen anytime soon? Trust me, as soon as you go outside, it'll happen. Well, let's go outside then. <laughs> 2%. 2%. Okay, that's not bad. It's taking a sweet time though. Well, because it's only 2% of that. <laughs> How's the sun looking? Is the sun, uh, sun looking... Ooh, it's looking a little angry. It does. I thought it was a different colour before. It, well, it starts off as a yellow sun. Mm. Uh, maybe I should just move this, this a little closer to us. That's good. The cycle is... How many? 22 minutes. Okay. Which equates in the year, so I assume? Uh, yeah, we do, we do orbit very quickly. Mm. But they talk. They, the 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 Namai talk in terms of minutes as well. Ah, oh, I see. So maybe this is a star system mm. where things just all be very very quickly. Yeah, because otherwise it would be. It's one of the symbols in the tower. Centuries. What's one of the symbols in the tower? I missed it. What's going on? Mm. Still two percent. 
Uh, Uncle Ben, uh, what what do you mean? I have to go back to the dark bramble after this. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not that's looking the, forward to that's it. That's where you died a few times. Well, that's why I got eaten by a fish. Do you remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was fun. <laughs> For the curl on the stone tablet. Oh, this one? Yeah, he read that one. In yeah, the I have. I'm thinking I'm not going to get out now to read it because as soon as I get out, this whole thing is going to go kablamo. Do you remember what it says? Uh, I think it's something like um, the Tower of Quantum Knowledge is below. Or welcome to the Tower, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Something along those lines. Okay. So, nothing really important. I can't remember what that one says. Yeah, but you read it in the past. Oh yeah, I've, 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 oh there it is. Um, yeah, I've read all of these in the past. There, it's there. Now it's not. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Wow, I, I can't remember what any of these said. Oh. <laughs> patience is a virtue. I don't have patience. I'm a panda. <laughs> Pandas are incredibly lazy, so I would say they have plenty of patience. Still two percent. <gasps> zero, 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 zero. <laughs> Wee! Here we go. This is what I was waiting for. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. There we go. Right, where's the tower of quantum knowledge gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? I see uh, nothing. It's around here somewhere. Mm. She's got to find it. There it is. There it is. Ha ha! Is this literally the only way of getting into it? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, hang on, let's roll. How did you figure it out? Uh, I may have looked it up. But it does make sense if you really think about it. <laughs> okay, let's park it. What? I didn't think that you probably I did. I landed on nothing. I got into the bloody <laughs> ship. Okay, hang on. What? You bounce. Screw it, all dudes. I'm not likely going to come back to this. No, that, that's fair enough. Yeah, let's go in. Whee! <laughs> I love the color combinations in this game. It's pretty cool. Whoop! Mm. Whoop! Molly's making noises. Oh, hang on. There's something. <gasps> There's something here. I missed some. I went past something. Alrighty. Oh, there's a tablet missing. Where's the tablet? Probably floating around somewhere. She's ripping paper apart. Oh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. When well, she doesn't need it. Yeah, that's there's the There's writing here, but I. There's no tablet. Where's the tablet gone? Might be further up. Well, there's scrolls here, but no scroll wall to put them in. That's infuriating. Mm. Tell you what, I'll take it with me. In case I come across one. Yeah. You'll see your time. It would. I think that's it. It might be so. this is. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, there you go, right. That, that's that's much so much better. Yeah. Um, uh, have a look, there might be one at the top. I would assume there would be. A... Oh, the, those ones? No, 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 that one, you need uh, that tablet. Oh, like, I see. Slots into this bit. I'm assuming there's one at the top. Mm. There it is. Ew. Oh. Insert the scroll. Okay, here we go. Uh, if you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you're almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. Pause. <laughs> you may continue. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Uh, stop drifting, <laughs> please. There you go. Uh, we make this journey not for ourselves but also to honour the members of our clan who came before us. Those who after the crash that brought them to the star system became stranded on Bitter Hollow and Ember Twin. 
with no communication between the two groups of survivors. The Ile de Mai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that had kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After, after the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many Namai who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. It's always the way. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Namai and carry their curiosity onward with you. That is lovely. Imagine um, Ooh. at the very beginning how many Namai thought of it as a deity. A de uh, deity, yeah, deity. yeah, yeah, deity, yeah. Deity, deity. It's all the same thing. No, 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 I'm sure that there is a correct pronunciation. I say very... deity. Deity sounds, mm. sounds correct. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and you are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it's carried me and many in our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. I don't know what that is. You'll be aided on, in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the quantum moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Piss. Yeah, you remember when you went to the south instead of north? Yeah. Mm. Be curious on your journey. Well, isn't that a big old bag of dicks? Uh, so, <laughs> the, the, oh! does the sixth one... So I would assume there were five locations that you needed. Well, oh, the five visit. locations are the planets. Ah, fair enough. So that's, that shows where the quantum moon is right now. And it just moved from there to there, which is pretty cool. Ah. I still don't see the tablet thing for the thing two floors down. Oh, it just moved again to the brittle hollow. Mm. Um, yeah, there's no tablet. Maybe at the very beginning you just missed it. Maybe, maybe it was down the outside, bottom. Because it would make sense oh. to have it at the beginning. There you go. Okay, let's slowly glow, go, glow down. Oh, the sun's about to explode. The music started. Well, I'll try to do it quickly. <laughs> Poopy pants. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You think I got the hang of this by now? I don't see it. Maybe there isn't one. I don't think there could be. Same. So on the sides, there's like, a, not really a portal, but something that allows you to go up. Like what gravitational field. Oh, these. Not, not your ship. Well, oh, do you mean the that? Only one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that goes back up to the top of the tower. Maybe it's exactly at the top of the tower. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I just can't see Ow, my face. being anywhere else. Yeah, I can't see it. It's not floating around anywhere. Unless we completely missed it. Yeah, unless I'm a blind bastard. With eight pairs of eyes. <laughs> exactly. It would be tricky to miss. Well, the music stopped, which means uh, the sun's literally going to pop. Mm. Do you want to see it? Pressure. Yeah, of course. They're, uh, right on time. Mm. Yep. And kaboom! Boom. You would not be able to s stand in that no. trouble. Why it's blocky? Oh, the shadow. I well, cause I don't imagine the physics of this game are that great. That's true. Yeah. <sighs> I've outrun you twice, but I died either way. Mm. Apparently, you freeze to death if you go too far out. I see that but if you're outrunning a supernova, which is extremely warm, then surely. No, it depends. No, that's true. Right, what have we missed? I need to go back to the quantum moon. You do, to the north pole of it. I know it's going to be tricky. Just capture it. Yeah. It tends to move but, but as soon as I get a picture of it, it doesn't matter. Mm. It'll be there. Unless you take it well, when you land on it the picture disappears and then when you take off you're screwed. Mm, exactly. It's that again. <sighs> yeah, and because everything is in flux. Yep. You need to be incredibly careful. Can, oh, yeah. can it actually kill you there on Quantum Moon? I imagine if you hit it hard enough your ship might blow up? I don't know, I haven't tried. No, I was thinking more of a if an object 
appears either around you or in, inside Well, you. that's what happened last time when I got twatted. Uh, I, I thought it I was got, just in front of you. I got twatted by a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> well, I say mountain. It was a small hill with a tree. But still, it really hurt. All right. Boo. All right, let's find it first. Am I, have I escaped? Yep, yeah. okay. Where is it? Oh, there goes the probe. There's the, the probe. Anyway, uh, oh, quantum fluctuation would be a good idea. Uh, there's an island shard. Good. I'm still, am I still in orbit around my planet? Oh, I really am. <laughs> Museum shard. Mm. Have you been inside that? Uh, I have, I have. It's Isn't a mi interesting? It's a mining uh, facility. Mm. Cool. Some uh, iron shard. Where are you? Oh! How are you dead? What's wrong? What happened? It froze again. Ah. Your no, laptop no. is rather warm. No, it's not my laptop, it's the Xbox. And it's not warm at all. But your laptop is. <laughs> I'd always just like that when I'm streaming. There's a lot of stuff I has to deal with. We do need to get you a desktop. We do, and I want to. It will cost a grand, though. Or one of the Dell uh, gaming laptops. Alien okay, series. Okay, let's just close yeah, this down. Quick. Can you... Yeah, well, you, you can see. I'm going to get some water. Would you like anything? I would love some water. So what's the goal of this time? On this time through? Uh, well, I'd like to get through without the game crashing. That'd be grand. <laughs> uh, I'm going back to the quantum moon. Which is tricky, to say the least. Um, the quantum moon and then dark bramble. And then, after that, it'll be ash twin project, then dark bramble. But that one, I need to be super, super quick. Uh, that's the second game. That's the second time this game is frozen. I think this is like the fifth stream I've done, or fifth or sixth stream, and it's frozen twice. This is your incredibly infuriating water bottle. Yeah, my incredibly loud. I. Hmm. Oh, this one. This time it's okay. Sometimes I, it's noisy. Sometimes it's not. I actually asked him not to drink from it when he's in the office or working with the client. It can be so loud. <laughs> I'm totally gonna do it anyway. But I'll make a joke what? out of it. Yeah, I'll only do it the one time. Mm. Um, yeah. So let's try and uh, get to the quantum moon without... Do you know why? It's because the quantum moon knows I'm coming. <laughs> it knows I'm coming for it. And it, it goes, oh, no, I, I'm scared. Freeze game. I'm so sad I can't use this. I know. Just push a button. Uh, have you told Push a button. Everyone. I know, it's it feels so nice. Yeah. Have you told everyone about it? Oh, uh, about my stream deck? Yeah. No, I uh, uh, no, yeah, the people who were here when I tried to make it work the first time. Ah. Oh, hang on. I need to wake up first. That's fine, girlfriend. Quantum Moon, I'm coming for ya. Uh, uh, yep. The wee one ate all peppers. Really? Yeah. Uh, we've been introducing Molly to different types of vegetables so, and fruit as well. So today I, I made them a fruit and veggie salad uh, with lots of other snacks. Um, we've been doing that very slowly, but I've noticed that when it comes to individual veggies, it's not just the vegetable that's important, it's important how it's presented and in what shape it is. So if I dice the peppers i i know this is this might be incredibly boring but <laughs> it's <laughs> fascinating I know, right? if i dice the peppers they're not going to eat them at all but if i leave peppers in long lines they they will eat them all nice which she did just now that's yeah. my girl the the weird things that pups do or don't <laughs> i'm just going to quickly match this velocity and have a look on the map hmm. where is it the only thing is, as soon as I look away from the map, it's not going to be there anymore. No, not at all. Quantum moon, quantum moon, where are you? It's not anywhere. Not that I can see. No. Where am I? 
Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm still safe. Is there a time when the quantum moon is uh, outside of the solar system? I guess it isn't here yet. Uh, by, by the way, it can be at the bottom of the planets. Oh wait, there it is. There it is. Uh, it won't move. Is this to confirm? Yep, that's it. <laughs> Perhaps it's a phantom. Perhaps it is. I think there's a little period of time at, right at the beginning when it doesn't um, appear. appear for a little while. Mm. Bum, 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 ba, da, da, da. I wanted to look away then. Uh, then I thought, what the hell are you, what the know, hell are you doing? <laughs> what the hell are you doing, fool? <laughs> so those two planets are awfully close together. Yeah. Okay. Not close enough. Whoa, I'm really close to that thing. I've got to keep it in my sights. Hang on. You have to. No, nah, that's, that's not. That's not. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. Nope, I missed my chance. What's that? I want to get the perfect picture. There you go. <laughs> I'm satisfied with this picture. <laughs> Uh, try to land on the North Pole straight away. Oh, that's a good point. Where is the North, though? I don't know where the North is. Um. Oh, hang on. Uh. What the hell? Damn it. That did. What? <clears throat> okay, hang on. Put that away. No. Figuring out this goddamn control. There we go. Right. I think I'm now situated north. No. This is north. Okay. That's fine. Take a photo then. Perfect. Okay. And try to land. It is rotating fairly fast. It is. Ooh, okay. No, 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 no. Go down. Thank I you. Who is to... this? Well done. Perfect location to land. I know, right? That was close. I was really stupid. <laughs> what is this place? I don't know, but that could be the reason why I thought that everything was so dull and boring because you just didn't find where you needed to go. This is fantastic. Oh, oh, that's the shrine. Oh, <laughs> it really is a perfect location to land. Well, I think it is. It. Uh, okay. There you go. It needs to be at the North Pole. Am I at the North Pole? I don't know. I don't know. You have recorded the rule of quantum imaging. Record the rule of the sixth location. Record the rule of quantum entanglement. So this has to be in the North Pole. Am I at the North Pole? I don't know. Unable to pinpoint location. Well, great. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Am I at the North Pole? I don't know. Hey, hey, hey now. There's none of that, please. Oh, Ooh, there's none. No, it, uh, it teleported. Oh, oh, it's gone again. Everything here is in quantum flux. So if you look away, it will disappear. Mm. And reappear somewhere else, like that. <laughs> this place is deeply, deeply confusing. Oh, <gasps> yes! Oh, by ship. Well, great. <laughs> I wanted to get in here for a long goddamn time. Right, here we go. There's nothing here. Oh, wait. <gasps> no, that's a launching thing. I don't want to launch. Do I want to launch? I probably should. Okay. I am here after watching it wander the skies for so long, I am about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As suspected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the journey, remain on my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. Interesting. Mm. Just that it's always true. As a child, I considered uh, such unknown sinister. Though Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is and we are. What? Okay. 
Oh, sinister. Gotcha. I am ready. I felt something. Yep, so I did I. So I think this is the South Pole, and I just have to walk to the North Pole. You don't have a choice. Well, I don't have a choice, because my ship is done. I'm stranded on a goddamn quantum moon. Wait, the slider here was in a different spot, right? Oh, I don't know. Let's go, ch let's go check. Well, this one. Go okay. Tell me how it goes. Will do. Because I'm very curious. Um, you're at the south, right? I believe so. I'm going to have to walk to the north. Well, to the be a long journey. You know, well, the quantum moon isn't that big, I think, so it shouldn't be too bad. Well, it depends what you're going to hit at that point. journey. Or what's going to hit me. Okay, uh, yes, the slider was in a different spot because the last time we landed on it, it was around giant. Uh, it was the quantum moon was at Giant's Deep. Now it was at Brittle Hollow. All right. I guess we're walking to the North Pole. Oh, what is that? <gasps> Hi. How did it land perfectly here? <gasps> that ship's back again. That's cool. <gasps> oh my god, it moves. That is creepy. Oh my god, that is extremely creepy. Very cool. So this was an Amai. Very strange. Right. Let's move on. I can't climb these rocks, otherwise I will literally escape the bloody um, planet. There must be another way out. I'm trapped on the South Pole. Unless this is the North Pole. I'm confused. I'm confused enough to double check what the hell I'm doing. The guy, the guy says it's like the door when the world was exactly, yeah. Very, very strange. It's all connected. It is all connected, right? Uh, another one I want. Oh, that's definitely not the one I want. What am I going for? I've got too many links open. That's the one I wanted. Guys, I'm sorry. This computer is so slow. Here we go. Right. Quantum moon. Am I here too soon? I don't know. Let's find out. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is an incl- Oh no, everything's quantumly entangled. So it could be the rocks are just- I haven't just made my way back to the dude, the dead dude. Yeah, if I go past the top of those rocks, I will- oh my god. I will, uh escape the gravity of the thing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Landing on the quantum moon. Okay. Every visitor on the do you get a look around. Oh. Oh, 
Oh no. No, this is, oh my god, this is, this is so clever. <laughs> wow, okay. So I can lock the door. <gasps> Which means I can go to another planet. The surface of the quantum moon changes depending what planet it's orbiting. That's very clever. It mm. took you how many times to discover this? Honestly, twice, because when I landed, I was like, this is very, very different. Oh, well done. Molly got spooked. Ah, oh, Molly got spooked again. Yeah. But our neighbor was really, really nice at whatever they were doing. Oh, I need to turn off the lights. Really? Mm -hmm. They walked inside the house. So. <gasps> it, we moved. We moved. Mm. We're now yes, around we the dark bramble. Uh, mm -hmm. Where do we want to be? Did you force the quantum moon to move by doing that? Uh, yeah, because you can't observe where you are. If this is what it looks like around the dark bramble. Ooh! Oh. I found a dead guy, by the way. I'm not sure how to react. Positive or negative? <laughs> uh, fair point. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Right, okay, cool, 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 cool. I would love for those marbles to exist in the real life. With well, the... No. The, those ones, With these yeah. ones, these glow mm -hmm. in the dark ones. Yeah. I'm listening to movement. Well, oh, you're we're the around, only one that can. We're around the twins. Mm -hmm. Have you explored each each surface? No, I haven't. Let's check you this should. one out. You really should. Because there might be more clues. Well, I have no... Because that could be... Oh. That could be what they meant by six secrets or six locations, something like that. That looks fantastic. It does. Would, oh. Yeah, of course. I think, I think it's... <laughs> we, maybe we can go here. That'd be awesome. That would be fantastic. Oh, no, no, no. I need to close the door. Close the door. What would happen if you don't? Uh, this wouldn't work. Oh, fair enough. No, nope. Not as interesting as it might be. Oh, there's water outside. I can hear water. Are you going to get flooded? <laughs> Dark Bramble. <gasps> Let's go. Let's have a look. I'm curious. Same. Hopefully we're not going to die immediately. That would be good. Oh. Well. Poop. <laughs> well, if you look away, maybe we'll go. <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Good idea, though. I know. <laughs> All right. Here we go, this is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. We wanted to be on giant, the giant's deep one. And we're heading north until we hit the giant tornado. I love when you just say hi to her and her tail immediately wags. Yeah, that's cool. Well, there's the ship again. I wonder where my ship is. Somewhere very far away. Yep, probably in the sun by now. If you get into, inside the tornado. Uh, you can't, unfortunately. You can't. Can you no. oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, well, I think the tornado is blocking it, so now we need to go to a different location in order to get to the North Pole. We need to wait till I think we're around the Ash Twins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope. Oh, she nuzzled. I'm always fascinated how dogs can, and cats can find extremely uncomfortable positions. Very comfortable. I know, right? Especially ah, the one, my one takes so much less time. When, when yep. the pun, Panda Pub does 180. Yeah. yeah. Look, the floor changes too. We're wasting time, come on. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, so close. This is frustrating as hell. I really think that she considers um, carpet grass because she's trying to make it comfortable for her. She never does that with beds. Well, doggy beds. I might bring something here for her. I'll bring a cushion. Okay. Love's cushion. <laughs> I found a dead guy, by the way. You have to turn your light off? Yeah, because if you observe it, it won't move. So if it's unobserved, it will change. It's a whole quantum mechanics thing. It's like an electron being able to behave like a, a particle and a wave, unless it's observed, in which case it will always behave like a particle. So this is taking so long. I know, it does, but... This is the first time you're properly exploring this. Come on, you've been to every single one except the one I want. <laughs> hmm. I want the first one. So I'm going to see if this will work. You did it on the pole. I'm just going to see if I can get to the North Pole on this planet. I uh, think actually, where's the North Pole? Maybe that? I don't know. Let's do it properly. Because <laughs> I actually can't remember where the North Pole is compared to us. But I think on the Ash Twin it might be bloody obvious. Mm. No, Giant Steve again. No. The cushion worked. Yeah? Yep, no, I'm looking at her. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna die, unless time stands still here. You will need to refuel as well. Eh, as long as I don't use any. Oh, well, I'm getting know. really just, annoyed now. I just now. looked at the fuel and it's getting lower. Slowly, but it is. What's getting lower, the fuel? Yeah. It was up in the fire uh, when I walked away through this time. And the RNG doesn't like you. I know, right? So close and yet so far. I know, right? You can tell by the floor where you are as well. Mm. <sighs> I'm curious how many times it's going to take me. I'll be here for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's annoying that there is no counter. Imagine if you accidentally click too fast. I may have done. You may have done. Oh, no, no, that's Dark Bramble. That's fine. Okay. I'm assuming it's Sandy. Because I've now memorized what each floor <laughs> looks like for everybody. Not that one. 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 Nope. 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 <laughs> it, uh, it's only going from two to five. I know it loves two and five. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Maybe it's impossible for you to get there. Um, from this location, you, maybe. After you've been there for a while. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna head. Make sure I'm still near the north bloody pole. Mm -hmm. I am, but I'm going to look away, let it disappear, and I'm going to let it come back. Right. And this time it's actually good because the door is now facing the North Pole. Mm -hmm. So it's literally directly ahead. Maybe that was... Maybe this will help. It really do it doesn't seem to want to pick the first planet. Mm. 
I'm sure that there is a reason Maybe why. it's too late? Because the sun's getting too big? The sun's about to pop. Yeah, fair enough. Bloody hell. It's okay. Now I spent the entire cycle <laughs> doing this. But now you know what you're doing. Mm. So now... Very true. You'll go straight away there and you know what to do. I'm going to get there now, aren't I? Actually, no, I can't cause, because the sun's too big. There's no place for the warp. That makes so much more sense. Mm. I don't know why I'm still trying. Oh. Okay, here we go. I'm around the brittle hollow. Let's see what that's like outside. Mm. Oh. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah, this is where we were before. Mm. The thing is, I won't even know when the sun's coming because I can't see it. Mm. Probably for the best. Yeah, that's all. Oh, you'll die either way. Oh, unless I'm at the eye of the universe, <gasps> I'm going to cheat the system. How <laughs> about if you can? I'll be interesting. It'll be interesting if I can survive while I'm here. Because I'm definitely at the eye of the, uni of the universe and I'm very far away from the sun. Mm. Well, uh, so next we start, go to the nearest planet and hop in. Uh, I'm, I just need to be quicker, I think. Mm. Can I hear it? Oh, oh, I froze to death. Well, now you know what, what, what would happen to them. Indeed, <laughs> we've learned something today. we learned something new. Brr. This game, bloody hell. I know it's good. <laughs> it's going <laughs> to be the same five images again and again and again. <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> The machine's thinking he just stared at a wall for 20 <laughs> minutes. Okay, so no matter where I land, I'm always going to be at the South Pole. That's really so I don't. So we can not piss about no, trying to find not. the North Pole. Yeah. We can literally just take a picture, land, and start. So yeah. this is the t one of the times, one of the few times, we need to be quick. Oh, yeah. When you're ready. I can hear the pandas <gasps> snoring. Oh, you're snoring. <laughs> I still remember the time. We were in bed. Panda. This was back when we only had the, <laughs> the one dog. So Panda Pup was sleeping in our bed with us. In between us. And I I woke up. And I was like, what is that noise? <laughs> oh, oh, it's Panda Pup snoring. And then Mrs. Panda here rolls over and nudges me and says, Stop snoring. And I had the joy of turning around and going... That's not me. <laughs> he, the panda bear was snoring so loud. It yeah, was it was. like a proper human snore. <laughs> right. Let us. But to be honest, as soon as I found out that it was the panda pup, there it is. I wasn't annoyed mm. anymore at all. Da, 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 and around it's around the right bloody planet already. That's infuriating. <laughs> okay. I think it's exactly the same thing when people are chewing with their mouth open. So if it's a human doing that, I cannot tolerate it. If it's a dog or any other animal, that's adorable. Absolutely. Agreed. Yeah, and when the panda pup eats carrots. <laughs> right. It's fantastic. So no matter where we land, we'll be at the North Pole. Uh, South Pole. Yeah. Let's take it slow. Mm. Come on, come on. Hey, 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 come on now. <laughs> Stop running away! <laughs> what? Okay. That wasn't a soft landing, it will be, will do. It doesn't matter. We've got, we're, on a, we're on the clock. We are. I'm not even going to turn on the light. There's no bloody point. Nearly, nearly, mm -hmm. nearly. No, no, oh, no. Oh, I thought that it was. Yes, yes, this is the place where we need to be. Move, move, move. <laughs> There's the North Pole. That was quick. It's, this is not a very big moon. There it is. And it's looking at the North Pole. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Brilliant. Right. Let's be quick. 
I could be a speed runner. I could. <laughs> I really could. I don't have the patience. Come that on. The pattern. <laughs> Wait. Yes. <laughs> I have fought the system. So this is the north. Emergency scout, scout recall activated. Okay. So now well, we're at the North Pole, are uh, we not? Maybe at the top of something. If I go too high up, I get oh, out of the moon. Oh, okay. Get out of the moon? No, I don't think that this one is. It looks like there's something in there. A cactus. Fascinating. Go to the top, you will be able to look around. That's thing. a good point. <laughs> I'm trying not to. Oh, oh maybe it's di this is directly on the North Pole. It might be. How would you know, though? I don't know. Well, this, um, the planet, well, not the planet, the moon on the side shows you. It's um, still, it's still around the, the right place. So what do I do now? I don't know. Oh, the, I need to go to the, this place now. I'm sorry, it's too much text. Go to the pole on your map. Oh, right, right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm directly on the North Pole. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's, we need to do the trick again. This time we need to wait till we're at the eye of the universe. Okay. Second try. Well done. Can I actually go out? I think you can. Oh, get, get, get this on. Thank you. <gasps> I am on the eye of the universe! I head south. When you arrive at the South Pole, you'll meet none other than Shalonan. Conversation. I'll meet a living Namai! I'm so glad I am seeing you right now. Yeah, you come at the best part. I know, I do. South Pole? Wow. I'm guessing this is South Pole. That looks fantastic. <gasps> there he is! What's up, my dude? Who are you? <gasps> Ooh. Pick up the other one. Uh, explains them? Uh, oh, Salonun, these are the two tenets of Namai philosophy. To seek out and un to understand is our way of living. Okay. All right. Uh, pick up me stone. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however, perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did. Incorrect. So if I do... Yeah, let's see if you're going to get something You were. Uh, I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honour to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask. If I could comprehend your language, you have my gratitude for understanding mine. That's cool. Uh... Oh. Quantum Moonstone. Uh, this is the Quantum Moon. We are both where we are both standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the Quantum Moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Okay, so what if I move the identity and put the explain? Uh, have you encountered a Quantum Shard on another planet? The Shard looks the same as the Quantum Moon surface does now, while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably, reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. So that's why it's never there at the very beginning, because mm. it's at the eye of the universe. No, it makes sense. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristic the moon in exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. Are the quantum moon and its shards, for instance, the quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus the eye is also is likely also quantum. That much I think I already knew. 
In fact, the moon is probably quantum because its proximity, proximity, proximity to the eye made it quantum. The same way the areas surrounding quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually become quantum too. This is fascinating. Pick up the U stone. And that's the explain. Cool. I'm on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All Namai in my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. When you die in this location, when you get to the eye of the universe then? I don't know. I might, I, I think it might be a good idea. Is my ship still here? It's not. Yeah. My ship is no longer on this moon. I think this is the way of getting to the eye of the universe. It might Maybe. be. It this is fascinating. Sense. There is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Fundam uh, not normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behaviour because of, because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect, as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in this star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Now what if I put the... Uh, identify stone? We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it. Only the mm. quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believe it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. Mm, okay, let's put the U stone here. I am Salonum, a Namai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth, and we now call it home. Cool. Let's put the quantum moon back in here. I've read this already. You read this one. I think you read all of them. Unless you make combinations between purples. Um, That's what I'm thinking. Oh, what if, what, did I put the me stone in here? In the identify? Yes, you have. I yeah, did. you have. Okay, let me do this. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. Oh! Is this your first time on the quantum moon? It's my first time here. Then time must be timey wimey on this yeah. thing. Yeah. Because these guys when it were arrived like 200,000 years ago. Mm. If you've come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. Uh, so the quantum moon and the me. Let's try the quantum but moon it, and the it, you. It also means that he survived. Or quant maybe time is in some sort of temp quantum flux as well. Mm. Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps, mm. perhaps my journey has reached its end. Uh, let's try the eye and the moon. I'm just trying to see. There are 30 combinations of stones. Bloody hell. Uh, I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes its appearance depending on which location it's currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giants Deep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being this moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it's consciously observed. But what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? Like, 
Um, swap positions. Maybe that will apply to that as well. Uh, let's find out. Mm. I don't think it would. I'm not sure it would, but let's try. No, it won't. No, same thing. Oh. Okay, so apparently there's explain and you. Here's a highlight one. They'll fill in my ship's log. Most of them do already have it. Maybe. Let's find out. You have. Yep, okay. Uh, I did find one the moon. We've I got think, time. I, I think you've done all the combinations. Uh, well, let's try you in the eye of the universe. Just to uh, mm -hmm. No, I think we did that one? Oh no, we did you in Quantum Moon. Oh, oh you yeah, haven't done this one, well done. Many of my clan have believed the eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was malev malev malevolent. Yeah, malevolent. Uh, to have lured my clan to the star system, only to vanish, to then vanish from them so completely. Uh, as I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday. But I fear this may be beyond my reach. Uh, you may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. But there you go. Um, have I done explain the eye of the universe? I have. Uh, explain. Quantum moon. Yep, mm -hmm. and let's one do one more. Identify quantum moon. This guy's cool. Look at him. Mm. Yeah, I have right. I think I've done everything then of this. But what, I, I kind of want to jump up there. Go for it. Well, I can't. Well, I can go back, but. <gasps> oh. You scared me. <laughs> Where are you? I don't know. You killed the guy. We don't know. Oh, he changes position. When I Where am I? Oh, I can escape on that. I think I'm still on the quantum moon. Mm. I know how to fly this thing, kind of. So why don't we just try and do that? Whee! Am I not? Okay. Oh no, I'm still there. Okay. Let's try this. <gasps> so you're next Hey, I escaped! Your next step is to break the time loops. Uh, yeah. Oh, look, I'm on Dark Bramble. Oh, not Dark Bramble, bloody uh, 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 Brittle Hollow. What if I do that again? I can't. Oh, my ship is uh, over there. Where is my ship? In space! Travelling at some speed. Um, while I'm here, <laughs> might as well have a gander around. Oh, I can do something kind of fun. And launch this thing. Come on, come on. Boo! See ya! Can I track that? I guess not. No. Alright. I can recall it though. If it's not destroyed. See? There it is. Okay, so we learned a lot. Uh, I haven't actually been here before. You haven't? Oh. No, I never made it to the gravity cannon on um, Brittle Hollow. Oh yeah, then it's cool. Yeah. Might as well. The crossroads. Uh, 
Uh, Southern Observatory. Have you been there? I have now. Took a while. Mm. Little crossroads again. I bumped on my head. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm on the surface. I say on the surface. Oh. <laughs> uh, risky jump. No, really. Yep. Oh, ow. Okay, maybe it'll... A little risky. I wonder how long I've got left. Probably not long. Do, uh, can I make. Is that, does that lead anywhere? I think so. Yeah, I guess. Oh, go to there, which then goes over there. Go on then, let's give it a yeah. go. Because there are some that lead absolutely nowhere. Oh, fair enough. That's alright. It's, very, <laughs> it's very annoying. Now I've got to now... Look. Ah. Okay, now I've got to do this. Jump down. Yeah, I've got to I use my boosters to move. Alright. Have you been here before? I think this is the way to the Southern Observatory. Mm. Yeah, it is. It's heading that general direction. Yeah, this is the way. Oh, I need to boost up to that one. Oh, my ship is moving. Oh, we know it's moving. It's an... Um, Where's the heading? Where's my where's my ship? Oh my god! Oh my god, it's moving away, I think. Yeah, it's moving away. Well, farewell, our dear friends. Yeah, Served indeed. Well. Ain't no getting that back. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so the next thing... Once I'm done pissing about with this, mm -hmm. um, is to go to... The Dark Ramble. I've said it since the very beginning of this stream, and I'm actually going to do it next time. <laughs> There's nothing I could do now except kill time, unless I just kill myself. Yep. Uh, oh, no, didn't want to go that way? No? I oh, know that thing. I could just kill myself. <gasps> oh, Christ! I oh, know, it's all good. That's the way to the southern uh, observatory it's up here. Mm. Oh, have I been up there? Yes, I have. Oh, yeah, this tells us where the eye of the uh, universe is. I am too eager. I'm trying to take shortcuts and it never works. Oh, oh, oh. Bang, bang, bang. Alrighty. Whoop. Honestly, I'm trying to waste fuel. So, we just have a cheeky gander. That's the sun. Zooming way out. And this is where the eye of the universe is. Because it's in quantum flux. Oh, that's, this is a great place to look at the sun. Indeed. I can't kill myself. I have to wait it out. I'm trying to deplete my oxygen, but there are trees in there. Oh. Um, is there an exit to this place? You can shoot yourself out in this space. Nah, uh, I can't even get out of this hole now. Uh, there, uh, well, there we go. Uh, yeah, there's no way. Oh, is there a way out? Oh, there is a way out. Yes, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. 
Come on. Come on. Get to where there's no trees. There we go. Can't even get in this ship, can I? Mm -hmm. Well, my ship's over there, 35 kilometers. I'm getting there. Come on. Oh, there we go. Cool. I'm just gonna quietly suffocate now. So, during this round. Dark Bramble. Within. Dark Bramble. Gonna have to. No choice. Do you mind me which one is Dark Bramble? The one got away, I got eaten by a fish. Oh, yes. Loads of pretty lights. Mm. So my goal... Oh, there was something else I could do on the Brittle Hollow, but... Uh, I know the Ember Twins, but... It's not important. So every time you wake up, you have a little... <gasps> thing. Mm -hmm. When you suffocate, the gasp is a lot more... <gasps> Oh. Like you uh, just caught breath, which is kind of fucked up, really. Yeah. There you go. Oh dear. Yeah, it's quite, quite grim. Mm. So how many times has this poor bastard died? Oh. Okay. Oh, go on then, dog bramble. I'm gonna find where the hell it is first. Uh, Dark Bramble, Dark Bramble, wherefore art thou, Dark Bramble? Oh, of course you're on the other side of the goddamn sun. Why wouldn't you be? You son of a bitch. There it is. It doesn't feel like today's Friday at all. No? Mm -mm. No. No, it really doesn't. But then again, we don't really have standard sort of like weeks. No, we really don't. You want to avoid the sun. Oh, I've not been looking forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we had to go back here at some point because obviously it's inevitable. Go on. Working. You have me working. <laughs> True. Extra support. <laughs> oh, am I gonna hit it? I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. Oh, there you go. Do you have to get out of the spaceship? No, you can drive the ship in. Apparently. Mm -hmm. Why you can't do it long time? Uh, probably because I sucked at the game. <laughs> Here we go. Now you know better. What even happened to this place to make it look so Beautiful. fucked up? It looks fantastic. Love it. Uh, okay, we've got to go slow, 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 slow. Okay. Right. That one. How do you know? Uh, the signal locator. See? Mmm. He's got to avoid, he's got to go slowly to avoid fish. Yeah, because previous time you just... I went in full, yeah, I went in full pelt. Yeah. And then obviously the fish went, Ew! <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> It's nested. It's like a nested like microcosm. Okay. We're not in a rush. 
just in case there are any fishy fishies because they're attracted by the engine noise um. obviously so he's gonna take it nice and slow we've got 20 minutes it's all good I don't see any fish though, so I think we can. Uh... There might be a... later on. Oh no, there will be de deeper Thank in. I don't you. think they're probably. Oh, burn the cookies! Hello. Thank you for the cheer. Much appreciated. Hundred biddies. This one looks different. This looks very different. Will you be able to go through it? I don't know. I don't think can. There are lots of spikes on the sides. I can't get in! But the sound oh, is from yeah, there. it is. Maybe I need to get out. Mm, try to land somewhere. No, I just need to match the velocity so I can't. Okay. Ah, fair enough. Mm. Oh god. Okay, here we go. This might hurt. I think it will. Ow, yep. Yep. My two got punctured. But the thing is I'm confused. All of them are like that. All sides are I know. Sides. I'm confused. Do over here. Hello, just by say hi. That looks scary. It really does. Oh. I don't know. I, I find it incredibly beautiful. This pushes me away. Look. Boo, physics. <laughs> right. Um, maybe it comes from somewhere else as well. Maybe I'm getting fooled. Maybe because it wasn't a full lock last time. Signal go. Here we go. <gasps> I was deceived. You tricky, tricky. Deceived. Very nice. I knew it. <laughs> I'm so smart. Well done. Okay. Third level in. I think that's where I first encountered fish. Yeah. So let's, uh. Oop. I don't see any fish. Not yet. This is the only orb of light, so I can't be being misled. How are you, cookies? Are you well? Are you glad it's Friday? I'm saying, oh uh, no, I'm not saying that. Look at Oh, my shoulder. Fucking free look. Whee! <laughs> Didn't know I could do that. Oh. He's in the mouth of a fishy. It looks like a oh, skeleton. Is I a think skeleton? it is. Oh, it went through that one and out the other side. That's why it sounded mm. like that. Alright, let's uh, match. And pause. Oh, no, and pause. I see a tablet. Is that a. Oh, no, it's a gravity um, thing. It's a gravity crystal. Yeah. Hello, Felbar. Mm -hmm. Whoa, where'd you come from? No one's coming here in. Well, ever, actually. That makes you the second Hearthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut. And you haven't blown yourself up yet? Mm -hmm. Good for you! Felsbar, you're alive! You were never were the practice hatchling, were you? Yeah, that's why I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, um, you know, crashed. Violently. Mm -hmm. You crashed? But you're the greatest pilot ever! I haven't lived in polite society for a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that wasn't sarcasm. <laughs> my story goes like this. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep. And I wanted to try my hand at dark bramble, seeing as no one had ever tried, bef ever seen before. Getting around in uh, in dark bramble was easy, mind you. Once you've dodged one massive interdimensional vast vine bristling with thorns, you've dodged them all. Mm. 
but after a while I ran into a huge angler fish. You've seen them? Big gnarly things, and that was the biggest one I've ever seen. I pulled a few stunts, tried to shake the thing off, nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine and... Well, like I said, I crash. Blammo! On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside. And I think, well, ain't that great. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly. So I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I camped down near <coughs> where I crashed at first. I found this skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Wow. Let's yep, rescue pretty much. this little guy. I know, right? <laughs> uh, story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, I found something? I went to the core of Giant's Deep. So you figured out the whole tornado tree, did you? Good work. Mm. I found that bit up by accident, but let's keep that between you and me, hey? Hornfells would have uh, would have my very handsome head if they knew I'd been riding the cyclones again. The ship is fragile. It can break. You can't subject to extreme conditions. Not like I was flying the thing into the sun now, was I? I've done that. <laughs> I did that. It did, not did. End, it did not end well. And the jellyfish, you figured those, uh, those out too. Hatchling, I'll tell you what. You've done work real well for yourself. You're a fine astronaut, sure, but you might just become a pilot yet. What? Alright. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which I desire. Metallica references. So, um... Oh. Where am I going? Where am I going? Error duplicate signal. Ship. Oh, that's my ship. But from the other thing. Mm. I'll identify that was probably gonna be a distress signal. Oh no, did I not actually scan him? There you go. <laughs> it's Feldspur! Alright. Um I guess that's it for now. It does seem like it. But next is finding the distress beacon. Unless I can't do that from here. Let's try it from the ship. Refuel. Okay, signal, distress beacon. Wait, how do we get out of here? Is that a fish? Oh no, it's another ship. Oh, that's his ship. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Explore the ship. If you I can. don't think there's a lot to explore. Yeah, you sure might not be yeah. able to. Oh. Even. What's in here then? Oh, let me out. Let me out. Oh, am I, st am I stuck? You're, you're stuck. I'm stuck. I told you it was big enough for you to get through. Unless it's just. I'm actually dynamics. stuck. <laughs> I've just stuck myself. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there you go. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Christ. A small hole. Yeah. yeah, there's no way out of here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, that's the guy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's the guy. Never mind. If we go back the way we came... Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Knocking microphones. No, there's no way out. That's why he was stuck. As well. Oh god. Yeah, there's no way out. Once you get in, you're in. Oh bugger. 
Wait, what? Uh, there's, a there's a second light. Yeah, I saw the second light as well. Oh, is that not, that's where the ship is. That's the yeah. ship. That's the ship. Yeah, we're stuck here. Well, let's kill ourselves, shall we? <laughs> Again! And actually, I'm going to call it a day once I have... How do I kill myself? Oh, I, I know. Uh, hang on. Hang, yep, poke me. Poke me. There we go. Puncture. Can I have another? Oh, that looks sharp. Well, the person that is terrified of me is absolutely fine with us. It's not me. Okay, now I'm just going to go away from the trees to make sure he can't. What? That's not the same ship. I don't think it knows which is my ship or which is the... Um... I'm confused. No, that, that's different. That ship is different. This is saying that the ship is 600 meters, but I'm over there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Da 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 da. Well, we're just waiting to die. <laughs> Na 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 bum ba dum dum bum bum ba dum ba 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 da da I am trapped there's no way to escape da 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 there you go. <laughs> Alright. Well, with this death, everyone, I think it's time to call it a day, don't you? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm very hungry. It's been about three hours. Mm. Half an hour of which... <laughs> I've got the goddamn phone. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I seem to recall reading on my phone that uh, the Sahama is live. So we're going to do a cheeky raid of Super Sahama. Uh, we're gonna make sure I do it properly. I tried to raid raid mage yesterday, didn't work. So we're gonna do it and double check we've done it. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I don't need to do it here. I can do it on here. So anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. That's why am I keep typing there? I can just type over here. <laughs> Be sure to check out my Discord. Come join the chat. I post there when I'm streaming. It also lets you know when things are uploaded to YouTube. Pause that and quit so we can hear some lovely menu music. Uh, are we raiding? We are raiding. Um, also, um, can you please be sure uh, if you would like, please consider checking out my Patreon, would mean a lot if you did. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for um, for tuning in, means a lot. And I sure you. You'll be here on Sunday. I'll be here on Sunday afternoon for uh, where hopefully we can finish this uh, game. So make sure to tune in. Make sure to tune in. That it will be the last part. In fact, I will let's just make sure it is. Yeah. We'll stream and for then, as long, however long we need to. And then afterwards, we'll have a recap of the entire game just to go through it. Indeed. Yeah, well, I'm going to have a special stream where we talk about this game. Mm -hmm. Very unlike anything I've done before. But there we go. So... And no problem, Drake. Thank you for sticking through, even through the longest phone call ever <laughs> registered in the human of mankind. Um, in the oh, human of mankind. In the human, of, in the history, <laughs> in the history of mankind. That's why she's here to make sure our English good. Uh, thank you, Uncle De Ben, for also sticking through the longest phone call in the history of mankind. <laughs> and without further ado, let's get let's show Super Sahama some love and do a cheeky raid. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on Sunday. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. <laughs> bye bye. Raid! <laughs> Where's my mouse? There it is. <laughs> I 
love emos that Sahama has. How are you doing and how was your stream? Remember, right?